Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about a very uh, serious issue and I will start with uh, myself. So we have some images of Wedge and Wedge is not going to GP Providence, but he is trying to go to GP Richmond. And a little background about him in case you missed it. He went to Star City Con and Las Vegas, GP Vegas when his doctor told him not to go and he knew that he didn't have health insurance of course he knew that uh, but he went for the love of the game uh, against versus personal responsibility um, a lot of times i see this play out in my local game store uh, my local i live in one of the poorest places in america uh, these stats will just search it up humble texas uh, I call it humble Texas because it's easier for me to tell my friends in New York City and Washington, D.C. That way, when they Google it, they can verify that I'm telling them the truth about it. The average median family of five makes about 37000 where I live. Uh, just a few miles. So let me, let me put that in perspective for you. Uh, in another area uh, where waste management is, it's in Atishota. Uh, it's very smelly because that's where all the waste in Houston goes. They make 87000 So it's not like everyone in Texas is poor or not everyone in Houston is poor. It's just the area I live in is one of the poorest places in Texas, if not in America. And I tell you that because a lot of times my friends will buy, uh, they'll buy a case. During Battle for Zendikar, I had a friend buy six cases of Zen Battle for Zendikar and he couldn't pay rent. This is a very typical occurrence is for me to get five or six text messages or now I guess I get emails of people trying to sell me their collection anywhere between the 27th until the 31st, depending on the month, because they know that they have to pay rent or they have to pay bills at the beginning of the month. And that's always kind of sounded crazy to me. I spend a lot of money on mobile games. Uh, I spend a lot of money on just ridiculous stuff all the time. But I know when to say, okay, I got to pay my bills. I have to pay my mortgage. I have to pay uh, my employees. I have to pay my overhead. I know when enough is enough. And, but some people don't when it comes to Magic the Gathering. In another case, I mean, people will, you know, here's the danger of MTG Finance is the cards are not liquid. A lot of people compare, if you listen to a lot of MTG finance people, they compare it to a stock in terms of, oh, if I told you this card would double and you would get a 100% return, would you buy this card? And of course the answer would be like, yes, but the return is not 100% because you buy list, buy list is brutal. You have to ship it, you have to insure it, it can be lost. There's all types of bad things that can happen to the card in the meantime, and then you get paid. But the part that they don't tell you is the card is actually not liquid. Even if the card is on a buy list, it is not liquid. Um, it's not as liquid as a stock where you can just change it for cash and then put the cash into your bank, and then suddenly you can pay bills with it. Here, you buy list it to Troll and Toad or ABU Games, they could take months to send you a check. And they could send you a list where they said, no, we no longer accept it. So there's no guarantee. But if I sell a share of Apple, there's a guarantee that I'm going to receive after fees a certain amount of money, which I sold it at. And it will sit in my bank account, and then I can use it to pay bills. But the planning that you have to do for MTG Finance, it's just too long. So a lot of people who want to pay their bills on MTG Finance or say that they do, it's not liquid. Uh, even if the card is on a buy list, it does not mean you're going to get paid next day. It does not mean something doesn't get lost in the mail or and then the U.S. postage system, and I'm sure globally, is uh, terrible. Like, it's just terrible. They lose stuff all the time sometimes. So, on the other hand, we have the time. Um, Friday Night Magic, I've always said that it's so super dumb to have the best day in magic be Friday night because if you have a family, if you have a social life, uh, when I grew up, again, my family was incredibly poor. We worked our way 
up. Um, we always had Friday night dinners, and that we had we went out. We even if it was to McDonald's, we went out to eat because it was the American dream um, for at least my family. So it is strange that Friday night magic. They chose Friday night to be the night. I've always said that Saturday would have been a better, or Saturday at like one, or you know that would always be a better time. So back to the other personal responsibility that most people ignore.、Uh, this one,、uh, Todd Anderson wrote an article.、Uh, Todd Anderson is married. His wife at the time was working full time. He was delivering pizzas part time, and then he quit his delivery job because he felt he was. Too good to deliver pizzas. I'm not too good to have a part-time job. You're not too good to have a part-time job. There's no shame in delivering pizzas. Like there's no shame in that. In fact, I think that's something that you should be proud of for, like proud of. If you're just Uber driving to, for extra money, why would you be embarrassed about that? You're making extra money, and no one should be embarrassed to work. That's my opinion. If you can. So the other one is when people who decide they want to be a magic pro, or they decide like Weds, he wants to go to this event. Going to an event is very costly.、Um, it, in case, Weds's case, I'm sure that he's comp for it. But the majority of people,、uh, they have to pay a hotel, travel. They have to spend the whole weekend. Um, it's very tiring. It's very emotionally grinding. So when they get back to work on Monday, maybe they're not at the most productive level they could be at, because instead of spending the time relaxing on weekends, they go to a GP. And that's why I'm toning down the GPs I go to,、uh, mainly because of the time aspect. Not really. The money is important, of course. A hotel, airfare,、uh, food, Uber, transportation. But more so, it is the time. It is the time that you spend away from. If you have a family, your kids. It is the time that you spend away from responsibilities.、Uh, it's almost akin to kind of just getting wasted.、Uh, you just lose that weekend, and maybe you have fun. Maybe you have a good experience. But you have to make sure that everything is okay first. So here we have. Probably the best example of personal irresponsibility I've seen, and I'm glad that we have this、uh, for the magic community. Is you have someone who was told by his doctor, and at that time he didn't have health insurance, so he knows he doesn't have health insurance. That you could come into trouble if you travel. What does this guy do? He goes to two different conventions back to back. He goes to Star City Con, and then he goes to Channel Fireballs GP Las Vegas. So, if he had just gone to one, and let his body rest, and then go back and relax, maybe this doesn't happen, or maybe this is delayed. The reason it's so bad to be have a medical emergency one time—it's like sports. I'm sure that you guys watch sports, right? It's like Bo Jackson, right? I was watching a documentary on Bo Jackson. Once you're, once you have like an emergency of a severe nature, you may never recover. Um, that's true for any elite athlete. Some of them do make recoveries, but the large majority—that's、uh, the Bengals. What the Carter King John Carter, the first、uh, draft pick of the Cincinnati Bengals.、Uh, he played at Penn State. He would have been amazing, but once he got injured at the preseason game, he got a ton of injuries all his career, and this is what is probably going to happen to Weds. I don't wish that upon him, but it is real. And you have to live in reality. You can't live in your own bubble because your health doesn't care about your bubble. You can pretend that your health is perfect all you want, but if your doctor is telling you not to go, is Magic the Gathering worth risking your life? I would say no. I would say, is Magic the Gathering worth going to? You know, if you had.、Um, Something to do、uh, that was more socially engaging or important, or you had a better way to spend your money. Magic: The Gathering is not, but the way they structure it is very similar to a mobile game. In fact, they now do have a mobile game, Magic Arena. 
to get you addicted to buying their products, to opening their product for a chance to open a good card or for a chance to win a FNM prize. The FNM prize is like five bucks. You could have made more at Walmart. <laughs> Even if you won pre-release, if you worked at Walmart for 10 hours at, what is it, $12 an hour, you made $120. That's the price of that booster box that you fought that hard to win. And if that's and that's only if you actually won the booster box. The majority of people are at such a negative EV if you consider it your time. Now a lot of you will say, experience, Tony, experience. I get that. I totally get that, but not at the risk of personal responsibility. Um, there's a lot of irresponsible magic players out there who buy too much, they sell too low, they MTG finance too hard. And in the Mana Sources example, they pretty much say, blank you doctor, blank you healthcare, blank you, blank you, blank you, I'm going. It's a very important lesson to learn that Magic the Gathering versus personal responsibility, personal responsibility will always win because let's say you go to a GP just like getting drunk, your problem actually hasn't gone away. It has just amplified. Especially if that problem is based on uh, financial reasons. Anyway, bye guys.